Hello, it's your girl Kyra here, interpreter of African American history and culture, motivational and spiritual speaker. I am back with another segment here of When She Speaks Wednesdays. Now, you all know what When She Speaks Wednesdays are. If you tune into the one that I did last week, um, it's basically just a segment discussing issues and things that we as women face on a daily basis, whether it's men issues, insecurities, our spiritual connection with God, we feel like it's strained, whatever it is that we're going through. You know, the issue with people that they have on their jobs, dealing with coworkers, or just, just so many different things that we have to talk about, right? Now, this segment right here, I'm mostly gonna be focusing around this topic. Side chick, main chick, how about the only chick? Do you know how many people literally sit around and take the side chick role and think that they progress it and that they doing something. Then when they become the main chick, then they get mad that they have to start worrying about other side chicks. But we're gonna get into all that in a second, y'all. Tune into this video. <laughs> okay, y'all, I see it all the time on social media, Facebook, Instagram, I'm not on Snapchat. I have one, but I just don't really use it. I may start using it again, I don't know. But um, side chicks, main chicks, how about being the only chick, you know? And the problem is though, a lot of people, the values and the morals, that code of honor and that standard is not there anymore. The first thing I wanna say about being the side chick, you never win, never. Even if you finally become the main chick, you never win. Because at some point, honey, guess what? You're going to become the main chick that's having to worry about other side chicks. Never take pride in taking a man that was not yours to begin with. And even if it seems like, uh, well, I didn't do this, this isn't that, he was the one that was in a relationship, he was the one chasing me. Boo boo, the minute you find out that he is in a relationship, you know what you need to do? Exit that situation, okay? Exit, stage left, time to go, you know what I mean? But um, that's the number one thing I wanna say to my side chicks out there. And understand this, if you are willing to lower yourself to take second place in a man's life, in his heart, in his mind, what does that really say about how you feel about? Just saying, I'm just saying. So think about that ladies, think about it. If a man cannot give you all of him, then he doesn't even deserve a minute of your time, okay? I'm just saying. But that's my thing I want to say to the side chicks. Now you main chicks. You know the quote I get sick and tired of hearing. What's understood don't gotta be explained. You're right. Because what's understood is that he do not love nor really respect you. And guess what? It ain't no need to explain it because he showcases to everybody who's watching. Half the time, you know what? Half the time... The family members and the friends, the homies, the homeboys, they know about the side chick. The only one that don't seem to know is you. And what's funny is God tries to set up so many traps and, and, and signs and stuff that he gives us to let us know that there's something else going on, but we don't want to pay attention to it. We're all guilty of it. My right hand is raised. We're all guilty of it. Main chicks, I'm gonna tell you right now, if you even have a woman that's contacting you or trying to come to you as a woman, you know what you need to do? Be woman enough to leave him and that crazy chick or whatever alone. And the reason that I'm calling her crazy is because why is she approaching you about your so-called man? And if you decide chick, you supposed to stay on the thank you, but whatever. Side chicks ain't playing their position no more, y'all. I'm just gonna let y'all know that right now. They're not playing their position no more. They not sitting on the bench no more. <laughs> they coming to you as a woman. Now let me let me go back to the side chicks for a second though. Don't be crazy enough to think that every woman that you try to come to as a woman is gonna let you come to her as a woman. I know some stories. <laughs> Where side chicks and tried to come to the woman as a woman. Let me tell you right now, she loves feeling two inches tall, two feet tall. 
Because see, not all women are wanting you to come to, because see, you have to understand, especially if you are a side chick, there's not, I'm not even talking about main chick girlfriends. I'm talking about wives. If you are a side chick and you're trying to confront the woman with the ring on her finger about her husband, you set yourself up for a disaster manager. Because even with some of the relatives on um, her in-law side of the family who may not even particularly care for her, I guarantee you she's going to get some allies real quick because when they find out that you're trying to destroy marriage, and it's not to say that you are destroying it because you're right, he is the one with the ring. He is the one that's married. I don't owe anybody anything. But honey, the minute you find, for any woman out there who's like, I didn't know he was married. As soon as you find out that Rascal is married, time to go. Because once you continue to stay in that situation, it's a wrap. So my last thing is, how about being the only chick? How about being the only one? Here's the thing. I have a saying for myself. I'd rather be lonely if I can't be your one and only. Why? Because half the time when you are in a situation where you are just staying with a man just to be with a man, you still gonna be alone. Cause you gonna feel more alone than before. And I think I've said this before. I'd rather sit by myself in a corner with a snake and a goldfish to be sitting here wondering what the heck am I doing with this person and what they got going on when I'm not around. It just doesn't feel good knowing that a person has so, so much disregard and disrespect towards you and your well-being because dealing with those type of toxic situations that weighs you down mentally, emotionally, physically, and spiritually, literally. So how do you get out of this situation? First of all, pray to God and ask him that you're not being crazy and pray for discernment. If he gives you discernment about the situation, he's going to let you know how to exit, when you should exit. Two, forget closure. You know what, what, what closure was? The minute you decide to leave him. Forget closure and go ahead and leave. Don't sit here. I'm waiting for the perfect time. It's now. I know it's a little bit more difficult if you got kids together, but understand, the man can always be a father to his child. He just can't be a man to you, no matter. Period. And number three, I saw this in the movie back here, and the way that she said it spoke volumes to me. Never run back to what broke you. Y'all, don't run back to what broke you. Keep your eye on God. Let him set the standard. Go and be happy. And don't chase no man. You better let him chase you, honey. I never seen a cat chasing after a dog. <laughs> then again, you probably have. I don't know. I don't watch animals that much. I like lions, though. Again, this has been your girl, Kyra, here with a segment of When She Speaks Wednesdays. Please tune in next week for my next video. We're going to have an interesting topic. One, I think that the men are going to want to sit in on as well. Just maybe. I don't know. Thank you all again. Stay up. Stay blessed. And uh, stay black.